Are you ready to take your brand to the next level, appear more professional, and just be the one in control of your business? If you answered yes, then you are ready to create your own website. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sally, and I create videos here on YouTube related to small business content, DIYs, tutorials, and just a community where we can all come together and learn and grow and be friends. So today I'm going to be walking you through building your very own website with Wix. I'm actually going to be creating my fourth, yes, my fourth website with Wix in this video. I'm going to be walking you through the entire process from start to finish. You'll get an idea of the editor and how Wix's interface is laid out. It's very professional and Wix is it. So you can trust me when I say that since I've been using them for so long and I really appreciate Wix for sponsoring today's video. I am so honored to be able to work with them because like I said, I've been using them for many, many years. So I can definitely attest to the quality, the interface and just how professionally laid out Wix is. So I have a link down below for you guys if you're ready to take the plunge and try out Wix for yourself. I can guarantee that you'll be more than happy. Creating my website was the most important thing I did for my business. Just today, in this day and age, having everything online, having a place for your brand that you own and you're in charge of, you'll appear more professional for your customers and for the people viewing your website. So you, you just can't go wrong. So what better time to start than right now? Your business is counting on you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get on into this tutorial. Remember to click the link down below and follow the steps to create your very own website. All right, so you're gonna start off by going to Wix.com and creating a new site. Now, I already have a couple sites with Wix, so mine might look a little bit different, but you're still going to create a new site regardless. Next, it's gonna ask you several questions just to kind of help Wix understand what kind of website you're gonna build, what do you sell, how many products do you think you'll put in there, and just some general questions. So you're just gonna go through that list first. Now it's gonna ask if you want Wix's ADI to create a website for you or if you wanna create your own website with the editor using a template. So I recommend using templates because there are so many to choose from and you can really customize it to your liking. I already have one that's my favorite that I've used for my other websites and you're really able to customize it based off of your colors and your logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. As you can see, when you first get to the editor, there's a ton of tools to choose from on the left-hand side and a bunch of things on the top that you can choose from. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna hit upgrade. And what this does is enables you to be able to choose your website plan and get your domain set up. So it's gonna ask you first, do you want a free Wix domain, which looks like that example, or do you wanna connect your own customized domain, which looks like the example that it is showing? So I went ahead and selected that. Next, it's gonna ask if you want a new domain name or connect an existing domain, so you can do that there. And then it's gonna ask which website plan you wanna choose from, and you can compare and contrast all of them. You have the choices all the way from website all the way up to enterprise plans. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing a business and e-commerce website, but just know that this tutorial will go interchangeably to any of the site plans that you choose. So the business basic is the one that I'm gonna choose for this plan. Um, it kinda does all that I need, but just know if you want to upgrade later on you can so next it's going to ask you which yearly cycle you want to pay for or monthly cycle and you're just going to go through the credit card transaction after that if you chose to go ahead and get a new domain through wix you're going to do that step next and that will be the last thing that you'll have to do before you own your website So once you're finished with all that, you're gonna be redirected to the editor. And as you can see, you are gonna have the template that you chose here. And so you're gonna to wanna to customize this yourself. So I definitely recommend having an idea of colors that you want and maybe your logo. And Wix actually has a custom logo maker, which is really awesome and handy. But if you already have one, you can go over here to the left-hand side and go to images and you're able to upload your own media to your library, which is really cool. So I went and just made something simple. It just says Sally Supplies, and you can scale it here as big or as small as you want. I just went and put it at the very header of my website, so it's the first thing that you see. Now we're gonna head on over to the theme manager and we're gonna choose our color scheme for our website. Now, as you can see, I already went ahead and picked my colors for my website, but you can adjust them here. 
and I went ahead and picked some colors that I liked and then after that you can go over to the left and hit text and choose the text that you want for your website so it just makes it a little bit easier to choose your fonts. Here I wanted to go ahead and adjust my menu. So here is where you'll have the list of all of the things that you can navigate to on your website. You can move them around here and then over on the right, as you can see, I'm adjusting the colors and the fonts and just kind of picking the way that I want it to appear on the website. So something I love about having my own website is to be able to customize it and design it the way I like it. So I think slideshows are a super fun way to do that. You can put sales, videos, holiday decorations, whatever you want. So I wanted to show you guys, Wix has an awesome media library full of stock photos. I utilize this all the time. I was showing you here that you could do holidays, you can do your website theme colors to kind of stick and be cohesive with your theme. And I just went ahead and just kind of picked a plain kind of pale pink background and put it there. I'm just going to kind of welcome people to my website. Here I'm just deleting what was previously on there and I wanted to show you that you're able to add your own fonts here and text and you can put pictures or videos or whatever you want on there. Um, but I just went ahead and made something just to put in there. It's just something simple. It says welcome to Sally Supplies and just kind of welcomes everybody to my website. And then you can totally resize this if you want. I just kind of decided to size it down just a little bit so I didn't have all that extra space. So right here, I wanted to mention if you ever get in a situation where something's not showing or it's hidden behind a layer, you can go up here to the tools panel and hit layers and you can move things in front of or behind or wherever you want it to be. So that's definitely a helpful information for you guys. Right here, I'm just fixing my shop now and you can customize it out of all of the different design choices that they have here. Before I move on to the next slide, I decided to go over here and add a strip to my website. So you can put these wherever you want. I probably am gonna utilize it for sales and announcements. So next I moved on to slide number two and I did it exactly how I did the first slide. I just did a Christmas background and then I overlaid another um, photo that I had already created on top of the picture. So here you can size everything how you want. You can add buttons and I decided to add a shop now button here that you can link to anywhere on your website. Super handy and very helpful for your customers to be able to find whatever you're talking about here. And then I decided to add a text here on the strip that we had created previously. I decided to announce a sale that's going to be going on for your brand new shop. Um, and here you don't have to do this. I just think it's very handy to have on your website. Just kind of let people know what's going on. One thing I really love about Wix is that you can use crosshairs and grid lines to be able to drag anything where you want it and it tells you where the center of the page is or center to other objects on your page. So utilize this when creating your website. So here I'm just updating my little cart icons. You can pick out of all of the choices they have and you can also customize your chat bar and your search bar. So it's really fun to be able to customize that based off of what you like. Another cool feature with your Wix website is you can drag and drop things virtually anywhere on your website and that is what I'm doing here. I'm just moving things around, kind of getting a visual feel of how I want everything to be laid out. You can drag the bottom of your screen up or down. It's just really cool what you can do. So these three sections right here, you can do whatever you want with them. You can keep them or you can delete them, but I definitely like to utilize them within my website because you can put important information on there or direct customers to different areas of your website. And the way that you do that is you click the button that is on there, which in this case, they're arrows, but you can also go and create a new one by using the toolbar on the left but you can set up those buttons to go to anywhere on your website that you want. It's really, really cool. So a marketing tip for you guys, decorate for the holidays, stay relevant with what's going on in the world, and just constantly update your shop with different things going on. I feel like decorating really gets customers excited to be on your website. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys, you know, staying clean, staying cohesive, and sticking with things going on in the world is a great way to bring more traffic to your website.
So this right here is where you can have um, parts of your shop, but we will get into that in the next video. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Down here is one of my favorite things about this website is you can link your Instagram or your Facebook accounts or whatever you want and it will put your latest post. So I went ahead and linked my Simply Sally DIY Instagram here. And so now whenever someone comes on the website, they will see that. So important note, always click the little mobile icon there at the top and you're gonna wanna kind of adjust things here. If you don't do this, the mobile site's gonna look a little funky. It's just kind of how website creation goes. Um, it's never going to look exactly like it does on mobile that it does on your actual desktop. So always, whenever you make an adjustment on your website, click the mobile up at the top left-hand corner that you can see and select the phone and just kind of edit and adjust things as necessary. Another thing I absolutely love about Wix is their app market. They have tons and tons and tons of apps to choose from that you can put on your website, such as email marketing, and you can do fun little countdowns and rewards and just all kinds of stuff. I definitely recommend going and browsing that if you get a website. Okay, next I just updated this about me by putting a picture of myself and then I typed just a little snippet about my story along with what this website is about. I feel like updating the contact page is very, very, very important. Customers are gonna wanna know how to get in contact with you. So I just went and updated this, let them know how to reach me, let them know they can utilize the chat or they can utilize by filling out the form or they can send you an email. Just let them know that it's easy to get in contact with you. So here I was updating my FAQ page, which is frequently asked questions. So that way you're able to customize questions and answers for your customers or your people on your website to be able to get questions and answered fast. So definitely, I think it's important to utilize this page. So up at the top right hand corner of the page, you're able to click preview and see your website, how viewers will see it. You can make adjustments as necessary by clicking editor again. I love how the website turned out, although we still need to add the online store and get into the details and that in the next video. I think having a website is definitely a necessity when it comes to owning any kind of business. It will do nothing but benefit you. I am so thankful to Wix for sponsoring this video and for the opportunity to make another website. I have been using Wix for many, many years and I have been more than happy with my websites and Wix's interface and I highly recommend them to all of you. Remember to click the link down below to make your very own site. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.